Hey, I'm Chantastic. Welcome back to React Holiday, day number 12, where we're talking about React Fragments, a super cool feature, and we'll talk about my favorite way to use them. Yesterday, we made this really cool uh, addition to our component where we can say what we want our component, our Pokemon list component to render as. Uh, in this case, we want it to be an ordered list, but we can also change that to an unordered list, and that changes uh, the root element that it's rendered as. Now, unfortunately, the way this works by default is if I delete that, the whole thing breaks. That's not a good experience. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more robust and knew how to render a sensible default. Now, we can solve that inside of our component uh, when we destructure this providing a default, and we could make that decision, say we want it to be an unordered list by default, and you can replace that if you want. Um, but I really prefer to use fragments uh, in a place like this. So react.fragment. The cool thing about React fragments is they return just the child elements. So it's just returning an array of the elements, no root container. I'll show you what that looks like here. If we inspect, go to our list, uh, we can see that these um, items are actually being added as siblings next to this H1. So in the default case, if someone wanted to use this, they could just use that to render the items and then um, provide their own markup around it. Pretty cool. Change that to an ordered list. Awesome. Or my preferred way, you know, if they actually know the API, uh, actually do that with an as prop as before. So that's it. That's how React Fragments work. They're just going to return everything inside of them as an array.